we're in a really exciting age where as an architect, if you can imagine a new form, an engineer is likely to be able to make that work. What do you get when you cross a park with a building? The Yokohama Ferry Terminal in Japan. It's a fantastic example of how technology can be used to create something we've never seen before. Although built on three levels, the different decks are linked together by ramps, creating one continuous flow of space. It's an innovative and gorgeous building, which is open to the public and much more exciting than your average transport interchange. What's amazing about this building is that at once you combine what would normally be a normal building which you would just look at into something which you can walk on, touch, be a part of, as well as use functionally for exhibitions, you know, buy your tickets to go on ferry rides, and um, really generally have a great day out. So this is a, an example of the new kind of architecture which I believe we are now moving into. The architects are based in London. For them, how people use the building is more important than its shape. When I go to the building now, and I see that there are people lying down all over the place, and you hear people at lunchtime snoring. And, and I think this level of almost um, uh, people making the building their own is finally a lot more interesting than how it looks like. Where is it all heading? Can it get more outlandish? Well, quite possibly. How about a building that actually changes shape? In the hills above LA, the designer Michael Janssen has built a house he can reconfigure in different shapes, depending on his mood. Called the M House, it's still at prototype stage. One day, it will be totally portable. <laughs> This particular structure uh, is uh, unique in that it, it can be put together in many, many different ways. The same basic components can be put together thousands of different ways. It is an attempt to create a changeable, flexible architecture. An architecture that can be one thing today and something else tomorrow. Most of the buildings that I experienced growing up and so forth were just basically boring and uh, weren't stimulating me in any way. I'm a great believer in that our environments have a direct uh, influence on the way we think. So part of what I'm, I'm trying to do is to create new kinds of spaces that will, will open up uh, a whole new kind of consciousness. This is so far the only M house that's been built. I hope there will, will be more. Everyone seems to like it but there's a big jump between liking it and writing a check for it. Buildings don't look like buildings anymore because they don't have to. The shape of things to come definitely isn't square.